Hey, what's up everyone? It's the Tastemaker and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna be reviewing this curly unit from Jenna Collection. This video is sponsored by Ebony Line, so shout out to Ebony Line for sending over this unit, sis. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to save that money. A lot of us love wearing curly hair in the summertime. I'm here with you, sis, I'm here with you. But, not all of us wanna spend, you know, a hundred something dollars on some hair, but I got your back, sis. She is a very cute unit and today I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look. So if you're ready to save some money and slay a wig, then definitely continue watching. What's up you guys? So it's been a couple of days since I've been here on YouTube, okay? I ain't been on Instagram because sometimes you gotta take a break from Instagram. You gotta take a break from social media. You just need a breather, you know what I'm saying? Today, you guys, we have another unit from Ebony Line. You guys know just a few weeks ago, I did a review for them with some Body Wave hair. It was Body Wave Lace Front, right? So I also wanted to make sure that I bring in another affordable unit, and this one is from the Janet Collection. So here it is. This is called the Brazilian Scent. Brazilian Scent, what the fuck? What the, tell me that, what do Brazilians smell like? What do they smell like? Okay, please tell me. 100% human hair premium blend. So that means that they have human hair mixed in with this synthetic hair. This is the style called Rain, and it's in the color 1B. It's just a jet black curly unit. Um, because it is the summertime, you guys love my curly wig units. I definitely wanted to bring you guys an affordable curly wig unit, like even more affordable than the other ones, because my other ones are really affordable as well. So let's slide this out of here. So it says that it's protein infused. So I don't know, some of the claims that they be making on these wigs, I be wondering like, is it really? Okay, please tell me. Did y'all really put some protein in this fake ass hair? <laughs> Girl, I doubt it. I doubt it. So it is connected to like this little thing so you do have to like pop it out. When I pop out. Hey, when I pop out. So it looks kinda long. It looks like a longer unit. It's not like super short. Um, I'm interested in seeing. This is not no damn human hair. They always be liking a lot of people and make them feel like they doing something. Like, girl, this wig costs $25. This ain't no human hair hair. Okay, I'm gonna just let y'all know that right now. So if you buy this wig and you're like, oh my God, they said it was human hair. Girl, this is not human hair. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Okay, so here's the wig. Let me take it out of the net. Okay, it's looking like a 13, probably by four. Maybe five, I don't know, we'll see. And then let me take this out. Got the hair net, of course. We always like to keep those. And some stuffing paper. Voila, la. more silica gels. Okay, so maybe that's where they're getting this from. Maybe they're, it says it's a, do not eat throw away. What is the purpose of the silica gels in these wigs? I don't understand it. Okay, so this is one of those legs that, this is one of those wig units that's literally just a lace part. There is no lace front. Um, cause just cause you have this little piece of lace right girl, cause it's getting cut off. So you really only have this lace part, very similar to the last synthetic wig that I reviewed. Um, here are the tracks in the back. It does have adjustable straps and a comb in the back, of course, the huge. Um, there are some combs here at the very top, so you get one right here on this side. You get another one on this side. Neither one of these are on the lace, so they shouldn't really bother me. Um, but here is the actual unit. I mean, looking at it, I can tell it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna wear mine in a middle part because that's just my favorite way to wear my hair. And then the next thing that we wanna do is just go ahead and put some foundation on our lace. So I'm using this e.l.f. brush. This is the brush that I love to use. I couldn't find it in my last video, but I just found it. It was in my makeup bag at the bottom of my makeup bag. I don't understand that. Like, I hate when I be looking for stuff and it be like right in my face and I'm like, girl, it was here the whole time. Girl, I done tore up the whole house for some shit that was right in my face. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that do that though. So anyway, I got my makeup on my brush and I'm just going to take the lace and just put this right on the lace part. That way, you know, it's looking nice and natural when we flip it on around. And then make sure I put some more like in the middle. I already have foundation on my wig cap, but 
just to darken it up, I guess. And it did make a difference, so. So this wig does seem a little bit snug. So I'm not really sure if it's like big head friendly or not. Sometimes people ask me if it's big head friendly, but I feel like you would need to ask somebody with a big head whether or not it's big head friendly. Let your soul go. Ah, you young niggas don't know nothing. It's so funny because now that I'm older, I have been waiting my whole life to be the age that I am just so I can say, you little niggas don't know nothing about this. <laughs> oh, you probably don't know, you too young. <laughs> so right now I'm just cutting the lace off. This wig does have some baby hairs in it. Like, they made some makeshift baby hairs for you, so that's convenient. So anyway, go ahead and move it down the center. Now it feels a little bit better. And down. Okay, so this is what our unit is currently looking like. It's not bad at all. I do like this curl pattern in here. It's a little bit shiny, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's looking a little shiny. But I'm just gonna use my fingers and just like take some of these curls out. I think I might do a little bit of cutting in the front just to like frame my face. But other than that, it's fine. The part is somewhat curved, so the part where it curves at, I'm just gonna take some hair and just move that down the center. But yeah, there's like some pieces like here in the front, like this is way too long. Like this piece right here is short, like these pieces are short and then this piece is randomly long. You see what I mean? So we are gonna cut that so that it matches and just get scissor happy. And when I cut, I always kind of move the scissors upward. Even, you know, with like, you know, human hair. You just wanna layer it so it's not just all one length in your face. Same thing here. So right now I'm just literally just gonna cut it to frame my face and then we'll work on the rest. This wig, once again, is hot, just like the last synthetic wig that I reviewed. Synthetic wigs are just hot, bro. They are just spicy. This part could be opened up a little bit more, too. Like, I don't like how perfect it is, but I'm just gonna work with it anyway. the finished look um all I really did right now was just kind of like try to play with the curls a little bit more because like literally the more you pull them apart girl they just get poofy so I made it look like this because at first it wasn't looking like this I'm not gonna lie so I just played around with the hair a little bit more I did cut it just a little bit more just to properly shape it just because I felt like there were certain sections in the hair that were like short and then it got long out of nowhere so I did try to do my best to try to level that out so that it doesn't look so crazy but let me come in a little closer so I can do some commentary for you guys so today I am wearing this bodysuit that I got from Forever 21 it is a lingerie piece it's very sexy I love pairing lingerie with like regular clothes and stuff like that like with jeans I do it all the time 
I paired it with these black leather PVC shorts. I love these shorts. They're more like a capri, not a capri short, like a Bermuda short, I guess that's what you can call it. The belt that I have wrapped around it, the gold belt, that's also from Shein, a really cute gold detail belt. I feel like that's a staple. I feel like every girl should have a belt like this in their collection because you can wear it with so many things and it can really like, you know, spruce up an outfit. And of course, I had to top it off with this cute little mini purse. Mini purses are definitely in. If you don't have one, you need to get one, sis. I got this one and I like this one because you can actually fit a lot of things in here. Them little mini bags don't be doing nothing, but this one you can fit your iPhone in there, you can fit lip gloss, you can fit a charger in there. And I'm talking about like the portable chargers too. I'm not talking about the little adapter that you stick into the wall, but like the portable chargers, you can put that in there. It fits a lot. Um, I purchased this at the Belladonna pop-up shop a few weeks ago. You guys seen that on my Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, yeah. Um, I have on this watch. This was a gift to me. I always wear this watch. Um, it's a Michael Kors watch. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but I do really like this watch. And then my necklace is a custom necklace. You can't even fucking tell what it says, but it says taste levels, cause it's in old English, but it's like too much old English. Like they did too much, but yeah. And of course, you know, I had the gold hoops that are just being hidden by all of this hair. They're kind of pointless if even wearing these, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. Other than that, I mean, it's a very simple fit. I'm not really doing too much. This is like a really good, like going out outfit. So if you wanna go hang out with your girls or something at night, I think this is really cute for that. From the hair to the outfit I just think it's super bomb so if you don't have a lot of money to buy like a Brazilian curly wig or like a bob or something like that I think this is a cute like in-betweener wig for the summertime like I'm gonna come in a little bit closer for y'all so y'all can see but this is definitely like a cute like you know, quick little pool party because you're not getting in the pool anyway because you already know we go there to just look cute. Like, this is this is a cute, like, moment. You know what I mean? Like, is she an everyday wig? No. She's not an everyday wig. But I do like it. I did wet the hair. It didn't really do anything to it. Like, it didn't, like, help define the curls or anything like that. But, I mean, even though this is, like, a human hair blend wig, I don't want anyone to think that you can go and, like, wet this hair and comb it out and you're, you're going to get these same curls. Like, this wig is still a synthetic wig, so you do need to treat it as such. When I'm done wearing this, I would literally just put it right back in the bag that I had it in, put the net back over it, and just store it until I'm actually ready to wear it again. This is not a wig that I'm just going to take off and throw somewhere because I don't want to mess up the curl pattern. Um, so, the main issue or the main concern Concern would constantly be keeping your curl pattern in your hair. Um, the only really changes that I did to this wig was just cut it to like frame my face. But this wig can and does get really big. Like this is a lot of hair. Even though it don't seem like it on camera, like in person, this is a pretty big wig. So just be, you know, aware of that. That this is like, you know, a wig for the girls who want to wear like a cute little fro moment. You know, she's cute though. The pros to this wig is obviously the curl pattern. The con would be the fact that the curls are not gonna last you. So as much as you love these curls, girl, love them while they last, boo. Love them while they last. <laughs> I don't know how long they gonna last. The baby hair was very easy to lay on this wig. It's not my favorite baby hair. I hate doing baby hair on synthetic wigs because I just never feel like it be looking bomb like. But um, I did make it work for, you know, our budget. So this is a $25 wig and I think it's definitely worth the $25. And because it is $25, like, it's not as if you spent $50 on it. If I spent $50 on it and I'm losing the curl pattern like super fast, I'm gonna be mad about that. But I feel like this is a good wig for only $25. A lot of people are going back to school. I think this is a good wig to wear like on the first day back to school, sis. I absolutely love this wig. There is gonna be some tangling. There is going to be some shedding with this hair. My hair is not shedding on me right now. Like I actually haven't experienced any. Actually. The only shedding that I possibly could experience right now is from me cutting my hair. But prior to that, like, the hair is not really gonna shed on you like that. But I will say that it will tangle because it is curly hair and it's synthetic. Cur natural curly hair tangles, that's just what it is. But this is like a synthetic human hair blend, so just expect the same. It will do some tangling, but um, nothing is like matting up or nothing like that, so that's good. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in to another one of my videos. Thank you to Ebony Line for sponsoring today's video. And I will see all of you guys in my next one. Bye!